It was a quiet Saturday night on Partridge Street Extension, with the St. Martin's one-stop auto care mechanics closing up their garage and getting ready to turn in for the night. But in a second, everything changed. Five of the men, Albert Clother, Jermaine Garnett, Keith Stewart, Jamal Jackson, and Terence Rayburn were shot in a drive-by. 30-year-old Rayburn was shot in the back and later died at the hospital. This morning, when we spoke to one of the mechanics and shooting victims, Jermaine Hars Garnett, he told us that this incident isn't going to derail the group's efforts to change their lives or the success of the auto shop. Just one the incident, one car hall and lane started open fire for everybody. Capable man end up to pick up our shot. End up to lose the life four or five man a shot, but as such is life like what we say for we business now, stop floor for nothing. We never made a wait for this time for. They want to put up camera, they want to put up police boot, they want all kind of things that then times there, when bad things happen, that then people choose to chip in. Fatally happen, our man end up losing life, but things presume for normal today on Monday morning, we the back on the job site, we we'll try to make things bubble off back for the same, and I try to see if we could get back everything for normal. We don't need society to read it against us, as they get a youth now, we just need. People for us to understand that certain people have nice heart, certain people have bad heart. So the one never got bad heart, well then they are the one never evil and the one never will just choose to do the things that never happen. But right now, we just, the commissioner say, I try to give him a lead. I try to give him a lead, come around back to the place and I try to see if we could do certain things. So we are try to set up on this spot and in there. But there are certain things that we really do beg for them do for we and then we could really watch over for we self but like we don't really want to push that evil side of life because we just need to get off at any time and say no everybody want to live with their family. Terence Rayburn's family lives right across the street. His mother Barbara who spoke to us off camera was sitting in her front yard on Saturday night and says she witnessed her son's murder. She started screaming his name knowing that he'd been there working. I sit down and all I hear is shots. When I look up, I only see the vehicle parked there and the shots. I don't know who in there. I don't know nothing about it. Right? And all I do, I fall out if Terence over there. Because I know he made it early on and he left, but I never see when he get back. And after the gun's done, then I get for find out that he gets shot. He walked out of the yard to the vehicle and he came in the hospital and he died in the hospital. Humes adopted Terence when he was less than a year old and says she raised him these 29 years to be both upstanding and conscientious. Terence is my son. I got Terence from the Human Service Department 1991. And I raised the rents from 11 months old till the time I did. Senseless, the senseless killing. Terence was a quiet child. He grew up humble. Anybody could ask and do anything, and he's there for them. You know, they're in a no problem. You know, in a no gang. You know, they're on the street, they fight. Drift ball, no nothing. Terence is in a school, he graduated from um, SEP, and he do mechanic. So Terence is a child we could go anywhere over the city, anywhere about Belize, because Terence have no problem with nobody. The US Embassy and Love FM Foundation, they open this thing in our community here. Everybody may be excited because at least he give them something to do. But he would work at Ladyville. So while the opening me there, he never did at the opening because he made a work, he did a delivery work. But the mechanic shop flood out from the flood at Ladyville. So that's why he made a down yeah, the work over the place. Eh. The place they open it instead of to help youth something in the community. Right? So he me kind of excited too because then he do mechanic and he do he wash vehicle, detailed vehicle. Saturday evening, 
I think he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. His friends and colleagues at the garage agree. And this morning, Jermaine Garnett told us that if any of them deserved to escape that hail of bullets, it was Terence. Goofy, I'm a respectable youth, you know. The man, I'm a real respectable youth. The man, I never made a problem, man. The man, all the man loved, and the girl, and the girl, and loved the man. The man, no bother people. The man, even got a kid. The man, a lone kid, where they take care of him, and about him, and then, that's why the girl, they loved the man. The, and then every time the incident they happen, or somebody, when he, business lose their life, lose their life. Because then we, as individual, we know that we feel dead, we don't really worry, you know. Because we know if we know more, play some day. But the when only the good Lord and tell. But the individual, we don't feel dead, we don't know. When he got one number, when he think about it's very hard. We always say we do have for the people, you know. We don't really have to push out all. We don't have to push out everything. We just have to come and we take care of you, we deal with it. Love, because we just got this place, the embassy, all kind of people. That's why I always say. They always take the people in from abroad to come and try to help to get the youth in the slum. When the politicians and them were there, they deal with it a long time, they deal with millions of dollars. If they could take one million and give ghost town a million, give South Side one million, George Street one million, and just put up one thing just like one shop for every hood and have make somebody got something to do. Once nobody not got nothing to do, all minds. Now the youth now they come and try to put something together and set up themselves. Not an individual, they try to come and see if they could box it away. But it now go work. 2021, when I set myself right, I make the business flow right too. Sharice Halso, 7 News.